Hi guys, and welcome back to a, another episode of me playing Warframe. <laughs> See my little cat. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to run a syndicate mission and find syndicate marks in said mission. So today I'm going to be playing with Inaros, and I'm choosing this Warframe because I realize I haven't ranked him up, nor have I formered him, so um, he's not one of my favorites. And that's pretty much only because I really don't know how to play him very well. He's not ideal for my playing style. I'm very ability heavy, but um, he's got abilities where you have to like, they kind of have synergy, <laughs> and I'm not very good at synergy. I like, you know, abilities that are just individual kind of abilities where you don't have to stack them. Kind of like Nidus. I don't play Nidus very well either. But either way, okay, so what is a syndicate? So you might notice this little um, sigil on my chest. A syndicate is not a clan. It's basically like like a support group. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it, but um, you have your option of six syndicates. Now it's important to look at the little notes for each syndicate because they have allies, they have enemies, and they have opposed to. So you also want to look at what is in their credit offering score, credit offering store, just to see if that syndicate supports your favorite Warframes. So I chose Steel Meridian and Red Veil simply because a majority of the Warframes that I play, these syndicates have augment mobs, mods for. So let me show you. I was wrong about you. You're a hero to these people. So you and start me. off you start off as neutral and you have to earn standing in order to level up. So I'm at max level, but if you were at like rank zero, you would have to accrue a certain amount of standing and then in order to rank up you either have to pay credits or you have to sacrifice a prime part, something of that nature. And every time you go you rank up, you have um, more things that are made available to you. And then when you're at rank 5, Here's what we can do for you. you can access the entire um, store that they have. Now in order to gain standing in all missions, it, does, it doesn't just have to be a syndicate mission. If you wear a sigil, you get a um, percentage of your XP um, from the mission is put towards your syndicate standing. So I am wearing the 15% champion sigil right now but when you first start off you're um, given a I think a three percent and then a five percent uh, you have to purchase every time you um, rank up in your syndicate you get enough you you can have the option to buy another sigil and the higher the percentage of the sigil the more obviously uh, or the quicker you will rank up in your syndicate because the more percentage of XP you get from every mission you do while you're wearing the sigil gets put into your syndicate standing. Now you have to remember to put these sigils on your Warframe because if you're not wearing them, if you just purchase it and it's in your inventory, it's not doing anything. You have to put it on your um, Warframe. And the way you do that, let me show you, as you go to your equipment, arsenal, it's under the appearance bar and it's under regalia and front sigil. So you see I have my freedom fighter sigil right there and you can change the color of it and everything but definitely make sure you apply it um, on your warframe when you are playing now every every syndicate has different sigils but um, if you are wearing a sigil of a syndicate and you have and you're a part of another syndicate that is that is an ally you will also gain standing in that sister syndicate just not as much so I'm actually going to switch my sigil out because I'm about to do a red veil. Um, I'm about to do a red veil mission, so I want to switch this out to a red veil sigil. And where is it at? It's like 15% or something somewhere. There it is, the assassin's one. So now I'm going to get, now I'm going to be accruing the maximum amount of percentage for Red Veil when I do this next syndicate mission. Now in syndicate missions, you obviously want to complete the mission. That's how you get standing. But you can also collect things called marks 
in the missions. And I'll sh be showing you what those are when we get into the mission. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need to show you while we're still on my orbiter. Um, I don't think so. Oh, right. One, one thing. Okay, so when I said that certain syndicates have mods for certain Warframes, let me show right. you. So this is the store for Steel Meridian, and they have augments for different Warframes. So I am huge into Atlas, so they have Atlas mods, and then um, next one is Excalibur, they have stuff for Ember, which I don't really play her, Garuda, uh, Mesa, oh, Korra, obviously I love me some Korra, one for Grendel, um, Neza, I have this one right here that allows you to put your um, shield halo around allies, um, Oberon, and Saren, I have this one for Saren, and Rhino used to be one of my favorites before I discovered Atlas, but each syndicate has um, different, well, I wouldn't say altogether different, some of them overlap, but each syndicate has m augments for um, different Warframes. So when you're ch trying to choose what syndicate you want to be a part of, you want to take that into account too. Like Red Veil vale has stuff for Harrow that, that Steel Meridian didn't have. And they also have stuff for Titania and Bolt. But they also overlap because they have stuff for Ember as well and for Saren, as you can see. Um, anyway, yeah. So every time you rank up in your syndicate, you want to make sure that you purchase a new sigil with more uh, percentage of more percentage so that way like I said every time you do a mission while you're wearing the sigil that percentage gets put back into your syndicate standing all right I think I've done enough talking <laughs> let's start so I go to navigation and now I'm going to the exterminate for red veil vale. now I'm not very good at Inaro so I'm not going to be like using his abilities super heavily um, I'm going to be putting out a Spectre. I use uh, Octavia Prime as my Spectre because of her um, boost abilities. If I had a Hildron, I would uh, use that, but I haven't unlocked Hildron. All right. There is a large platoon of Grenier Marines. So drop my Spectre. No one standing. Now, your marks are going to show up as resources on your mini-map, but they do not show up on the big map. So I will show you. Alright, so you see that little square box in the top left hand corner? That's your mini map. And those little white boxes on the map, I don't know if I can, no, I can't show you. But those are these little chests right here. So when you hit a chest, it'll disappear off your mini map. But your marks are also indicated by that. So I'm just going to explore this area right here and see if I can find any marks. And marks will not be in these little chests. They will be standalone. So let's see if let's see if I can find one over here. And these little um, cabinets, they do not show up on your mini map at all. Resources like Rubito show up on your mini map. Let's see. There's an area back here. All right. So there's no marks in this area so we're just going to continue on keep going nobody here. all right so there they are all the little marks on my map I'm just going to find them and open them
Oh, there's a mark right there. You see it? Let me kill these guys first, then I'll show it to you. So this is a mark. This is a red veil mark when you are doing a steel meridian. Um, what am I trying to say? When you're doing a steel meridian mission, it'll be a steel meridian mark. You just pick it up like that. Um, a majority of the missions have eight marks. And honestly, uh, <laughs> sometimes they are very hard to find, especially if you have a big map. They're not always going to be on the path toward extraction. You have to, like, diverge from that path. And that's kind of what makes it hard, honestly. Because <laughs> you have to explore the entire map. And sometimes you don't want to be doing all that, especially if it's, like, a higher... If it's a higher um, rank area and you are not that high of a level. Let me just reset these. So that's why I like putting down the Spectre, because she's pretty much going to kill everybody while I look for these marks. So are my little Red Veil helpers. Now, I did not create the Red Veil helpers, they just, the Red Veil provides those to you. Alright. Alright, so let's see if there's any marks in here. there's something above me. So I'm not sure how to get to that. You see how it says it's above me, but I'm not sure where, how to get to there. So we're just going to continue on and find out. And I think I might have already said this, but the um, marks the marks do not show up on your big map. They only show up on the mini map. Alright, so there's that one. Transference still holding. And I like opening everything. I like opening everything because you can... You never know what you're going to get. I'm going to go in here. down here. Get that. Now I wish these did show up on the big map because they're they don't appear unless you're close to them. Which is kind of irritating honestly, but you know. If they make it too easy, then everyone would always be getting marks and it wouldn't be oops, I just killed myself. Uh Okay. <laughs> Until there's one below here. There's that. And so there's one up top. And so there's another one. Over here. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking. You guys get the drip, get the gist. Um, when I run across another mark, you'll see. 
and you'll see that I pick it up and all that jazz. So, all right, I'm gonna stop talking now. Let me turn my mic off.
Marines inbound. Jutra
You are surrounded by Grenier Marines. and we will counter. Their ranks and they are on the run. Another successful mission. Find extraction. I will consider what I've learned from this skirmish.
So as you can see, I'm missing one mark. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if I'm going to want to stick around and find it. Because looking for marks is so tedious. But this might be it. Oh, there it is. Whoop. Eight out of eight. All right. So I can extract now. Nice. Okay, so that is how you do a syndicate mission in its completion. You find your eight marks, complete the actual mission, and then extract. And you see how much standing I got? Hell yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.